Hi, today I will cover uh, pessimistic offline lock pattern. This uh, pessimistic offline lock patterns uh, belongs to offline concurrency patterns and uh, this offline concurrency patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First we will see the explanation of uh, pessimistic offline lock pattern. This is the explanation. Prevents conflicts between concurrent business transactions by allowing only one business transaction at a time to access the data. Okay, we will see one example so that uh, you will understand uh, this point. To explain this uh, pessimistic offline lock pattern, I have uh, taken customer table and uh, this customer table has uh, five columns, customer ID, last name, first name, items order and lock. Okay, it has uh, only one row and uh, the customer ID is uh, 129, last name is Joe, first name is John and item order is 5 and lock is N. This column is the important one. Uh, so initially the lock is N. N means no. Uh, there is no lock is there for the particular uh, row. Okay, this row it doesn't have any lock. Okay. Now in the left side you can see uh, two sessions, um, Martin session and David session and uh, center you can see the database and uh, initially uh, the left side Martin session is trying to access the customer information of 129. Okay, So this is asking uh, get customer, I want uh, customer information of uh, 129. So the database table will return the customer 129 to the Martin session. Okay. Once Martin session access uh, or get hold of uh, this 129 customer information, immediately Martin session what it will do is it will put lock equal to Y, meaning uh, the Martin session is using uh, this 129 record. No other session should uh, uh, get this information and modify this information okay so at this point uh, martin session got the customer information and uh, lock is y a uh, few seconds later uh, david session is asking same customer information to the database get customer 129 that time uh, the logic will check whether this lock is y or uh, n uh, so lock lock is there lock is there it is y uh, because already this point Martin session has uh, uh, taken this record so the what it will do is it will uh, this this point uh, the customer information is used by Martin session that 129 record so it will return the customer is locked so only this Martin session is holding the customer information so the uh, so the ma only Martin session can edit the customer information and save the info update the information in database and whatever operation it wants to do it can do uh, now if you read this one you will understand prevents conflicts between concurrent business transaction by allowing only one business transaction at a time to access the data so what we are doing is only one transaction is access the uh, data this row by uh, uh, by maintaining lock column in the customer table okay and uh, second point is pessimistic offline lock is appropriate when the chances of conflict between concurrent session is high if uh, chances of conflict is high then we can go for a pessimistic offline lock pattern if uh, chances of conflict is low then you can go for uh, optimistic offline lock pattern that I have uh, created separate uh, video please log into my channel and uh, watch optimistic offline lock pattern so that you will understand what is the difference between optimistic offline lock pattern and the pessimistic offline lock pattern okay uh, here the key point is maintaining the lock column this uh, pessimistic offline lock pattern uh, the key implementation is implementation is uh, maintaining the lock column using the lock column we can identify uh, whether the particular row is used by some other session or not if it is used by some other session uh, don't give that particular row to uh, another session uh, another session so that we can avoid uh, the conflict uh, this is about uh, pessimistic offline uh, lock pattern 
and uh, thanks for watching bye